Affinity Designer version 2 can split parts apart in a number of ways. You could use Knife Tool, but you can also use the Shape Builder tool, combined with Pen Tool or Vector Brush. And I'm going to go with the Vector Brush. So select that, Vector Brush, set it to one pixel, doesn't matter about the colour, and simply just drag across there, just draw a line, and you can create any kind of line, maybe a straight line, but you can do nice wavy designs like that. And you can also go the other way as well, drag down, and now you can see you've got three paths there, or three curves. Select them all, then go down here to the Shape Builder tool, and you can see straight away you've got this. Go up here, Action, set to the third, and go with freehand. And you can just hover over, just simply click. Click that one, and you can see you get these lines, click, see these lines, click, and again, see these lines, click. And it creates these curves. Basically, all of it has been split now. Obviously, you can still see the other curves. Well, you can, of course, while it's still selected, just click again, and just create another copy, if you want to do that. No, I'm just going to undo. But what you can do, deselect them all, and you might want to remove the curve, this curve, and the ellipse. So simply click here, click there, and click there. And now you can see what you've got. You've got this curve here, which you can select. Now just use the Move tool, not the Shape Build. Doesn't particularly matter. You could join them together if you want. Again, what you do, you can just simply then select and dra drag. Or maybe you decide, you know what, let's just change the colour. Let's just go there and put it to different colours, different blues, yellow, green, and you can see your colours there. And that is a quick way of creating some very interesting designs using the new Shape Builder tool. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.